Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest was just nominated for two Emmys for her powerful Netflix special, Nanette. She's now performing a new show called Douglas here in New York. Please welcome Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice I, to have you on. It's, it's lovely to be here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see some, how the next few minutes... We've got some time. Exactly. Congratulations on your two Emmy nominations. Thank you. Thank Had I, you been nominated before for... <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm not from around here. Have you been nominated for anything? Is this your first award? Or... Oh, no, I, I, I won a, a creative writing award in grade three. Um, that's not easy. That's yeah, not easy. That's uh, real... where I'm from. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and uh, I understand you're nominated in the same category as Beyonce. Yeah, but I expect John Oliver will win. <laughs> sure. <Yeah>. Just sweeps. <laughs> he just sweeps. <laughs> I mean, am I in the same category as Beyonce? Yeah. Like, Evidently, they technically, say. Technically, technically you are. Um, have you ever met her before? No, no. Are you looking forward? Because she might be there. You might get a chance to meet her. Are you looking forward to that? Well, I'd, yeah, I probably won't initiate. <laughs> You're hoping she comes over to you, eh? We'll leave it up to Beyonce. I think that's only appropriate. <laughs> congratulations, belated congratulations on Nanette. You're now... Yes. You're very, you're very famous. <laughs> You're, you're very, you're very, you're very, you're very famous. You're very celebrated. Are you, are you enjoying that aspect of? Look, uh... it's, it's new. A lot of it's new. Like I didn't expect to get fame out of Netflix, as I like to call it now. <laughs> um, cut out the middleman, you know. Sure, exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, but here it is. My life has changed quite a lot. Like I'm. You kind of to... described it as like a goodbye to stand up. Like this yeah. is how you're going to end the whole. thing. You don't thing. write a show like that and go, oh, this is going to be popular. <laughs> Like, it, 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 I did not read the room. Evidently, you did, though. People were desperate for somebody to... Or rather, they responded so positively to somebody being honest and being willing to be vulnerable and share their experience. Yeah, it works to my theory. I did not approach. I was retreating. <laughs> it works. Sure. Beyonce and sure. I are going to be BFFs. Yes. <laughs> This, how, this is how it works. The more you pull away from yes. her, the more she's going to come towards you. Good luck with that. Good luck with you. I'll be out there. I'll, I'll watch from yep. a distance. Yep. Keep, mm -hmm. yep. Keep yeah. the distance. I will. <laughs> from like a duck blind or something. Yeah, I'll be watching you. That, your Beyonce. that doesn't sound creepy at all. People, um, um, as I said, responded to you being willing to share... Um, your own intimate experiences, your feelings, the trauma that you had suffered in your life, and you don't, uh, you know, but halfway through, Nana, you lose the, um, like, the, sort of the sense, the need that I have to provide you a punchline behind everything I'm saying. And w I want to know, as a professional comedian, was it, were you fighting an instinct to tell the punchline in creating it, or were you possibly fighting the instinct not to tell a punchline? Which was harder, not telling the punchline or telling the punchline? You, I have no idea what you've just asked. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering whether... I'm wondering whether you had a strong instinct to go, like, oh, I want to tell a joke here, but I'm not going to because I want to try something new. That one. That's the one. Let's not complicate it. That's, that was your instinct? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. it was really difficult to stand on stage in front of a live audience and just have tension in the air. Because when you've got tension, it's really easy to make people laugh. And I'm like, I'm wasting a real wicket here. <laughs> it's a cricket term, that one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't follow. You lost me there for a yeah, moment, Yeah, I you did. Lost me there for a I need to too. correct yeah. my inferior dialect. Exactly. Cricket, that's the baseball game that goes on for three days? Yeah, it's really... <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew you could make baseball more boring? But <laughs> you can. You can. You really can. Yeah. You really can. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you have a show called uh, uh, Douglas. Correct. Douglas. Um, uh, th there are punchlines in this one. Look, it's hard to say when I mean it, or, uh, but people are laughing, um, <laughs> which I'm pleased about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting for someone to. Well, I'm talking about myself. It's interesting to me. 
Um, that, uh, you know... <laughs> I'm good at words. It's my job. Yes. Um, in my, my show, I talk about uh, ha having autism, and I do do some anti-vaxxer material, mm. um, which is dangerous. But, um, so, I just, at the sort of end of it, I encourage people, you know, who don't want to vaccinate their children, that instead of having children, perhaps they should get a pet rock. <laughs> um... <laughs> And so, I've been making pet rocks um, to sell as merchandise. <laughs> to, to sell as uh, merchandise at overinflated prices because I made them, I've signed them, and I'm now a person What's that people... What's this going to run me? Hmm? I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. Let me do the spiel. Oh. <laughs> Didn't realize. Yeah, didn't not, realize, I'm not sorry. a flexible thinker. Yes. Um, <laughs> I do, anyway, um, so. Uh, you signed them? Yeah, I've signed them. I, I, I'm now matching them to people. Uh, so this one's uh, uh, Chloe with side eye from the meme. So I'm, I'm selling them at, uh, for, for a charity for uh, women and girls with autism and non-binary folk and anyone in a, a marginalised gender, which pretty much means everyone except you, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Raphael. Uh, Raphael with side eye. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there, um, uh, I'll t I take a hundred for each, I think. I think that I got, you know, the materials didn't cost much, but my labor, I don't think you can afford me. Um, um, I'll take, I'll, I'll... Which one would you like? Um, I'd like Raphael, if you know. Would you just? Yes. Classic. <laughs> I feel criticized. Oh, do you? Yes. Oh, see, that's tone. I have issue with tone. <laughs> I meant warmth. My, f my voice said cold. <laughs> Delightful to meet you. Thank you for being here. Douglas is at the Daryl Roth Theater until September 7th. Hannah Gadsby, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Shane 